eating and thawing operation of air separation plant. After a long-term operation of the air separation plant, the components in the low temperature equipment and pipelines of the distillation system will be blocked due to the internal precipitation of icing or mechanical powder, which will increase the resistance of the fraction aiding column. Therefore, after the normal operation of the air separation plant for about two years, the fraction aiding column system should be heated and thawed to remove these sediments. When the molecular sieve adsorber and the main heat exchanger have water or other faults, they must also be stopped for heating. The following describes several heating and thawing operation methods. 1. Heating and thawing operation when normal shutdown. After normal shutdown of the air separation plant, large-scale liquid discharge of the equipment shall be carried out. After liquid discharge, the equipment shall be kept for 24 hours, and then the air compressor, pre-cooling system and purification system shall be started. The dry air shall be led into the lower column through the main heat exchanger and all liquid discharge valves of the lower column shall be opened, so that the impurities accumulated in the main heat exchanger and the lower column can be heated and then discharged out of the cold box. It should open the liquid air joint flow into the upper column valve V1 and the liquid nitrogen joint flow into the upper column valve V3, guide the heating gas into the upper column, and open the upper column blow-off valve for heating according to the flow path. When the inlet and outlet temperature of the heated gas are basically the same, the heating is completed.